So it's been about four months since the previous Once Human beta, and I remember leaving that one fairly optimistic. It was a lot of fun, but I could tell that it had some things that needed to be adjusted. Primarily, the way that you go about acquiring new gear to face challenges was very, very slow and a little bit on the stingy side. It made preparing for things like boss fights and uh, stronger areas than what you were used to exploring kind of a pain to prep for. Luckily, with this new beta, they have addressed that very issue. You get your... your first set of guns very very quickly as well as all of the other tools that you'll need to navigate through the map they're very very quick to give you that stuff now i had a sniper rifle and handgun shotgun i had all sorts of weapons infinitely faster than i did the first time around and now they give you the bike as a part of the main story so they've kind of streamlined getting you started which is absolutely a plus. Unfortunately, however, they've also turned the story into a bit more of a standard MMO, and the experience is very subpar. Where before you could kind of just explore at your own pace, unlock things as you wanted to, now you're kind of strong-armed into following this absolutely ridiculous narrative. And it really does feel like your bog standard MMO, which really detracts away from the charm of what they show off in their trailer and what they had going for them in the first beta. Everything is very, go here, talk to the NPC, go get this item, bring it back to the NPC. We don't want that. Nobody wants that. As an MMO experience, there are so many better options than this that... Honestly, I think that they should just back away from that as much as they possibly can. Their strengths very clearly lie in doing their own thing. And... It's compounded by the fact that you're... The exploration side of the game is centered around completing a checklist, which is very tedious. And honestly, from my experience, I don't find it all that fun to have to go into sections of the map and scour every building, every room, every corner for boxes and anomalies and things like that. I'm the type of person that very much wanted to pick my particular style of gameplay, whether it be building the base, hunting for materials, looting and shooting, or following the story. In the first beta, you could kind of pick any one of those things, and it was a very viable way for progression. Because you needed to gather materials to be able to build your base, you could level up and do things that way, get access to more advanced uh, building options. If you were looting and shooting, then you're obviously leveling up your weaponry, your armors, ammunition, and things of that nature. And if you're following along the narrative, then you're getting familiar with the map and the NPCs and the settlements. And you get to see all of the vistas and things like that that the game has. So, they kind of fixed one issue and replaced it with another. But thankfully, the game is a little bit more optimized. I didn't have any server issues, which is always great. We love that. These are still things that they could adjust. I just hope that they do so in a timely manner to avoid having the same issue that the first Descendant has, where we're waiting for the game to come out for several years to the point where it's like a bunch of other games could get announced and release in the time that it takes for them to go from one beta to the next. So, as long as they just keep adjusting things, listening to player feedback, I think we're on track to having a really interesting uh, sandbox survival type game, and it'll be something that no other game is really doing right now, so it's very, very unique, and is 
it's primed to stand on its own two feet apart from a lot of the other games that are out today but only so long as they avoid becoming a subpar MMO if they lean into this MMO thing then it's it's game over for them. nobody is going to want to sit through dailies and weeklies when there are buses on feet wandering around that they could go interact with nobody wants to do that I don't want to do that but anyway that's all I wanted to say about once human keep your eyes on this one I'm serious just keep your ear keep your ear out for this one it's gonna be a good one if you've played it let me know what you think down in the comments below and as always thank you so much for watching I'll see you all in another video